What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here, but if you're not, welcome back. Thanks so much for coming back to check out my channel. So this is vlog week four of 2021 and it's quite a busy week, you guys. So last week, if you watched that previous vlog, you noticed that I was just a mess that whole week. I was a bum, I was exhausted, I was getting work done, I didn't care about anything, you guys. But this week, we're cleaning it up a little bit, getting reorganized, and the first thing I'm actually getting ready to do is film. So I haven't filmed a video, like other than a, like a vlog, and probably like three weeks, which is just, it's such a long time period for me. I'm such a bulk recorder and I normally try to do it every other week or sometimes I'll bulk record like every week in the month just to make sure that I have enough content for you guys. Between working full time and juggling my business, it is kind of hard to get you guys consistent content. So I'm normally on the ball with that, but December, I was not. And January is not looking too hot right now. So I'm gonna get that done now. I've got on my little schedule to record um four videos today four and possibly five so i actually just have them i have them written out but i've got a project management calendar that i need to start using but i've got all the videos that i want to do plus all the details on each video and like just information that i want to make sure that i'm sharing with you guys so i'm actually just getting that set up right now and we're going to record a video with you guys also i've got to get this done in like two and a half hours because my husband's getting home from work and I think his mom is coming over and I'm supposed to be cooking um, cauliflower wings for dinner. So yeah, this is gonna be quite the time crunch, but I'm so excited to see you guys here again. I have missed you. I've missed getting dressed and getting my hair together. So without further ado, let's get into this vlog. You guys I just got done filming thank God I wasn't able to film five videos because I realized that when I sat down and wrote scripts I'd only written out four scripts so I did get those four videos done which is awesome plus my vlogs so um, it means that I need to record probably within the next week it's not gonna happen this week because of course I need to like edit and get things done and I'm working on things for clients um, but I'm thinking that next week sometime, maybe like an early morning before work, I'm going to probably write out scripts for maybe two or three videos and just try to get those two or three videos done before work one morning. But I've got to make sure that I stay on a consistent schedule, you guys, because this is how you balance everything. This is how you balance everything for your clients, you work a full-time job, and then also balance things for yourself, which is insane. I have no clue what made me think this is a good idea, but I'm here and I'm doing it, so I guess we're still good. So now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna clean up this room really quick and put my camera um, equipment and stuff away because I'm not gonna need it for the rest of the week. And then I'm gonna make some cauliflower wings for dinner. My husband's been begging me for these and he loves him some cauliflower wings. So let me clean this up really quick and then I'll show you guys how I make my cauliflower wings. All right, y'all, here we go. So in the kitchen, I'm just gonna sit you guys down really quick. I already got my oil going. I'm using canola oil, but you can use whatever you want. <sighs> okay, so I'm just gonna do it and leave the instructions for you guys. I'm using half and half and um, heavy cream. You can use whatever you want. But I like to use these two and sometimes I mix it with an egg. It just, to me, makes it crispier. So an egg just went in with the half and half and heavy cream mix. So I'm gonna do two in there. If you fry chicken, it's kind of similar to that, but. Then this is flour. You can use whole wheat flour, whatever flour, it's up to you. So now I'm gonna season these both. I'm gonna season this with some salt. This is um, sea salt. And then same thing, season this with salt. Then I'm going to use some jalapeno seasoning. You can mix whatever you want, but I like to use like Lari's or something, but I'm out of Lari's, so 
I gotta mix and match. This is the Spice and Herbs Creole Seasoning Mix. You just wanna give it some flavor. That's it, so there's that. Also gonna use a little bit of red pepper. There we go. And black pepper. You guys can season this to your own liking. Normally, the quickest way for me to do this is Lari's, but I don't have any, so. And of course, I'm literally just gonna like mix it around. Nothing fancy here, I'm just gonna mix it, okay? Okay. So I wasn't sure how much my husband was gonna eat today and I just didn't feel like doing my own thing with the cauliflower, so I just bought it pre-cubed. And I'm going to throw it in the powder first. This is a big one, he would like something like that. I'm just gonna put it in the powder first and I'm gonna cover this. Um, I'm gonna cover this in powder first, like just mix it in powder because to get the powder in there first and then the liquid, then go back to powder helps um, for more of the crust to be distributed within the cauliflower and is less likely to just like fall off. So I'm just covering this in this flour. I call it powdered in. <laughs> I'm just covered in this flour, seasoned flour mix first. And then I'm going to move it all over to the liquid mix here. Now, I'm just gonna coat this again with flour. Make sure it's like fully coated and honestly it's gonna get everywhere so I'm not even gonna play myself. But it's gonna get everywhere so don't be worried about getting your hands dirty. Just get in there, you know? Just get on in there, you guys. Okay, and then I just like to sit these to the side for a second. I'm gonna use these little clamps and this is already nice and hot, but if you ever need to test to see if it's hot, you just like, there you go. You just let a little bit of the flour touch it and then the flour will pop and you'll know it's hot. But. So I like making those because they're quick and easy to make. Brandon's back there um, mixing up his own flavor. What are you making, babe? Honey hot? Honey to this uh He's using um, the honey hot from Mike's. I think I showed you guys in the last vlog, but somebody told us about this Mike's hot honey. It's infused with chilies. I didn't taste anything, but Brandon says it's spicy. I didn't taste anything. Uh, and then he's mixing it with the red hot wings hot sauce and a little honey and a little like Asian sauce. I don't know. He's like making a whole thing. Asian thing right here, right? No, that's the General Sal's Asian sauce. What's the Asian I know you can read it. Yes, it's it's it. gone. From the, um, what's your name? Yeah. So when we're done, we just toss it like this. And it literally does look like a little chicken wing to me, you guys. Like, it looks so good. So, easy peasy. We're about to sit down to eat real quick. Um, I think we're supposed to be watching that Black History movie today or not. Okay, the NFL playoffs are on, on, so that means we're not, we're not. So, that means I got time to work on the video that I need to put up today. So, you guys may get a video today after all. Okay. Did you make yourself anyone? Mm. You guys, God is good. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened, but somehow I was still able to film the four videos that I needed to film and get this video edited for you guys. I'm gonna get it up tonight. I was, in my mind, I was like, listen, 
they just, they just might not get a video on Sunday because <laughs> the way that it's looking is not gonna happen. But 7:15, my video is exporting now. It's got three minutes left, and as soon as it's done exporting, I'm gonna upload it. Hey. Okay. Um, on another note, so we did bar this morning, and I think I told you guys that we ended up signing up. My husband better not back out because he was the only reason why I signed up for this to begin with. But everything hurts. Like, my stomach hurts, my back hurts, my leg hurts. Like, and it hurt very quickly. Like, I thought, okay, maybe five, ten minutes, you know, maybe 20 minutes in, I'll start feeling the burn. I felt the burn immediately. 30 seconds. I don't even think I made it 30 seconds before I was like, oh my God, wait a minute. Like, ooh, that, that hurts a little bit. But we signed up for it because I am, today's the 17th, so I'm four days away from the Chloe Ting 21 day challenge being over. And I did pretty good during this challenge. And um, right now I'm at like technically 11 pounds down from my highest weight last year during quarantine and beyond. So, um, and then with Chloe Ting, I think I've lost four pounds this past three weeks. So, pretty good. So, we'll see how it goes with Bar. I've got, um, by the time I finish, oh, excuse me. By the time I finish Chloe Ting, I'll have 19 more days, technically 20 more days of, like, this reset that I'm doing. Because I'm doing it for 40 days. So, we'll see, you know, the difference between Bar and Chloe Ting and, um, I guess I'll give you guys updates on how my body looks, but I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm gonna get this video uploaded and um, Thank God so you guys have a video today and then I will see you guys Sometime during this week. I do need to get some other stuff done, but yeah, I'll just check in with you guys then <sighs> Hello guys, it's Monday and I'm back in this sweatsuit because it's comfortable and it's cute I just got home from work and um, I had another meeting and my brain is fried. I'm going to be honest. I'm really trying to figure out like the best plan of action for one of my clients and I'm, I feel like I'm a little stumped right now. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out if like you just throw everything out and see what works or if you do small strategic steps and I'm a strong small strategic step person in general um, but I'm just trying to like organizing my thoughts it's one of those days so yeah hope you guys are doing well it's Monday I actually wanted to show you guys something I got a package in the mail it's my first luxury clothing purchase so I purchased the Atlanta dress from the daily sleeper Okay, I've been wanting this dress for forever, but the price tag always kept me from buying it. But they had a huge sale. And then I had a coupon promo code, which took more money off. Oh my gosh, there's my call. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So anyway, here it is. It's a sleeper on the back and it's so cute. Um, so if you know anything about sleeper and the Atlanta dress, then you know this was a pretty penny. Um, so the original price was close to like $500. Handcrafted especially for you. Makes me so excited. Um, but it's actually on sale right now. It's half off. So if you've been wanting to try it, go get it while you can. I'm so excited. Okay, so I got the the white with polka dot one because I felt like I could make it neutral, you know, or dark. I didn't want the white white because I was just a little afraid of like messing things up. So it comes with a dress and it also comes with this little like hair tie. But let me go try this on and I'll come back so you guys can see it. Okay, I got it on. It's so cute. I'm glad I got the medium. Oh, okay, so anyway, here she is. So as you guys can see, it's the white with polka dot, which I like because it's from far away, it's deceiving and it looks white, but I, I feel like I'm not gonna get this as dirty for some reason. <laughs> okay, look around. So here she is. She's very wrinkled, so ignore her, but 
there it is. This is a linen dress. It's very comfortable, like very comfortable and luxurious. And I thought about getting the black one earlier today and I got online and purchased it and they only had an extra small. So there's that, but this is a medium and it's pretty stretchy, which is awesome. I'm actually really glad I got the medium at once. I thought I was going to get like a small, but I'm glad I did. And, and then if you don't know, the sleeves can go up as well. So you can do a situation like this, which is also very cute. Oh, if I had to be more modest, I could just put the sleeves up. See, but ooh, my arms are, are like, I have long arms, you guys. So with the sleeves up, it definitely moves up my arm a little bit. Can you guys see that? Ooh, long arm girl. Um, so I could do it this way which is, you know, a very pretty whimsical look. Like, I feel like I should be in Bridgerton. Like, this is a Bridgerton look to me. But yeah, so I can do it this way, or we can let the sleeves down and like, you know, make her, you know, kind of sexy, I think. So I'm excited. It looks good. I'm glad it fits. I was nervous, because you guys know I'm working on losing this weight. So I was a little nervous about it, but it fits really good, and I think that even as I lose weight because this is actually like snug on the top which is interesting because I don't have big boobs at all but I think even as I lose weight this will like it's pretty stretchy so I think I'll be fine in it but so cute so, <sighs> gotta work on some more stuff it's like seven it's seven o'clock it's not even super late it just feels late I don't know why I feel really tired but I got hungry and I decided, and I decided to try Tabitha Brown's um, vegan tacos. And I'm not really sure how it's gonna go, but she makes them look like they're the most delicious thing in the world. So I'm just gonna try it. Um, you have to soak your pecans for three hours. So obviously I'm not eating them tonight. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just wanna show you guys what it looked like. So these are the pecans uh, soaking and I put liquid aminos in water. She said soak them in water and liquid aminos, but then I also added um, liquid smoke. So they're just gonna sit in here and do their thing. And I got um, a hot chili seasoning for some reason, um, but then I also got taco, taco seasoning. So I'm pretty excited. This is, it's interesting. I watched the video, they're raw, vegan tacos I've got my lettuce and everything so I'm like I'm really hoping they came out good because I bought two bags of walnuts and um, day one was pretty good I ate a lot of peppers cauliflower fruit and um, carrots today and I just I dipped them in different things like hummus and stuff so yeah I ate a lot of that today and I'm kind of hungry. I think I'm just more so like craving things than actually being hungry. So anyway, with that said, I need to get in the bed, but I'm I'm going to eat some fruit and work on a client's video and then get to bed and then I'll see you guys in the morning. guys it's inauguration day it's a good day it's a good day people so I am inauguration ready I've got on my white got on my blazer because I mean business my red and blue polka dotted skirt that I love so much and I got on the chucks <laughs> repping for Kamala today um, I decided to rock my chucks I'm gonna be business and professional mixing it up but I had to I had to get a little spicy today because you know it's an important day. Let me flip around. Okay, yeah. So I even curled my hair a little more than normal and did my makeup. You know, I, I did a little extra for my day because I'm just excited. 
I'll be at work during the inauguration, so I'm just gonna turn it on um, at my desk. But I don't, my lighting is acting really weird. But anyway, um, I'm dressed. My inauguration gear, don't I look cute? Um, and I'm getting ready to head to work, but I'm actually going early because I don't wanna get, um, I don't wanna get home late. There's just too many crazy people out here. So I don't wanna be getting home late and when it's dark outside and stuff, I'm just trying to be as cautious as possible. So there's that. Um, I'm on a prayer call right now and it's a really, really good prayer call and I'm just trying to start my day off like spiritually focused and just in tune and just prayerful because I just feel like there's so much stress to be had in the air and I just don't want to take it in. So I'm headed to work. I'll pop back in with you guys during inauguration. Hey guys, checking in. It's Thursday and I'm packing up for work but I'm going in a little later today because I needed to finish up some stuff here um, but I just got done curling my hair I've been feeling you know a little curly lately and like actually curling it and I'm wearing one of my favorite jumpsuits I'm gonna show you guys really quick okay so this is one of my favorite jumpsuits it's from mango ignore it it's not buttoned up right now <laughs> Um, but it's really cute. It's like casual. It's kind of like khaki long sleeves. I wear it unbuttoned a little bit. Um, and it's actually not even a jumpsuit. I just wear it like that. But it's tucked in. It's like two pieces. And it's just so cute with the waist cinch. Like I love this little thing. And it's super easy. I love coordinated sets. I think I told you guys this before in some of my other videos. But coordinated sets just really help me not have to think about what I'm wearing. Like they're the best. So rocking this to work today very cute haven't told you guys much about raw vegan wheat but it is going really really good i did um break down or you guys you guys saw already but um i made that vegan taco meat by tabitha brown and i'm so glad i did because it has helped me make a little bit of variety so between that and fruit i've been good let me put you guys up here um so i've been making my tacos and Tacos have been bomb and a lifesaver, to be honest, you guys. Like, I don't even know. I don't know why at first I was kind of hesitant, but. Well, I take that back. Like, it's it's a nut taco. So, you know, it just sounds weird. But it's been saving me. I still have a ton left. But for now, I'm just letting my vlog upload. And I'm going to make myself a few of these vegan tacos. Like so. If you guys aren't following me on IG, you're missing out on day-to-day -day content. I showed you guys these um, earlier in the week and a lot of people asked me about them and they are really good, especially if you like vegetables. And lucky for me, I've always loved vegetables, so it's it's not a big adjustment for me. But these have really like changed the game for me this week and I'm gonna be solid, you guys. So I'm gonna make it all the way. I, I actually wouldn't have a problem with doing this t two weeks in a row. So here it is. There's four tacos there. I just had to squeeze them together because I don't have enough space, but I'll probably eat them something like this. But this is what it's looking like. And you guys, when I'm hungry at lunch, whew, this thing hits the spot. Okay, got my lunch packed. I'm uploading my video. Oh God, it's, I might have to wait till I get to work to do it because um, it's going slow again. I don't know what it is. It's either YouTube or internet connection. But the videos have been uploaded so slow. Um, I guess while I wait for that, I'm going to try these hairpins. So I'm thinking, aren't these cute? Like, I want to put them in my vein. Like, just across the front. Let me see. Like a, it's like a cute little, little thing. Like, isn't that cute? But I want to do a few of them, like, different different designs they all have different designs this one have like a little twist this one is flat but wouldn't it be cute if I did like two or three of these like right next to each other like this is giving me BAPS vibes for real y'all remember BAPS please say you do I want it to be there we go like isn't that cute you guys that's cute oh I've been wanting to do this for forever I just couldn't like figure it out should I do a third one you guys think two is cool I kind of have a professional is job professional ish we don't really have like a we don't have like a dress code but we do have a dress code so i think two is enough but i don't know why i'm itching to do a third one y'all i'm itching to do it okay let's just see 
see because the th you guys this is cute do you think i can y'all think i could get away <laughs> i need help y'all think i can get away with these three gold pins plus my gold hoops plus my gold chains chains at my job day to day would y'all job say something let me know in the comments if y'all if y'all came to work accessorized like this would your job say something I don't think mine will to be honest I don't think they really uh, I feel cute I'm I'm doing it I feel really cute today with no makeup on I need some mascara so bad I'm gonna do a little mascara but the mask is it it is what it is tell me that's not cute that is okay okay I'm ready to go to work I'll see you guys this afternoon right there, hey guys happy Friday okay, so no, as you can see I am in a location, location. Brandon texted me earlier and he's like, we should do batting cages for date night tonight. So I'm like, cool, you know, I still got my arm. <laughs> I still got my skills. <laughs> so we're at this place called the D-Bat um, Batting Cages and Brandon is signing us up right now and we're gonna go hit some balls. A little bit of stress relief. Hopefully my shoulder. <laughs> I don't know, my shoulder's already been acting weird since uh, bar but we'll see. Yeah, so. So I'm getting ready to do that. I've got my coffee. I'm ready. Um, and then I have bar method. So I actually need to get dressed as quickly as possible because I think this call should be like probably 30 minutes. I think we got everything pretty much organized. But then afterwards, it's time for getting my car fixed and then going to work out i've got tons of stuff on my schedule for today but of course i'll take you guys along with me so I'll see you in a few <laughs> guys i've done an entire day of stuff 
and it's just been a busy day so maybe that's why but i haven't picked up the camera all day it is saturday night it's like 6 15 i haven't picked up the camera to do anything but hey guys happy saturday um i'm sitting here watching some of um Ankli antro's vlogs um i'm editing a video i just got one uploaded and now i'm editing another one just trying to get my content ahead of the game i had a meeting with um a potential client i worked on some stuff with a current client i cooked meal prep washed and dried a bunch of our clothes cleaned up in the house a little bit i've done a little bit of everything and then i packed for my photo shoot tomorrow so you guys know i've got a photo shoot going on but brandon's on his way home he's went to go get a haircut so he's gonna be cute and um what was i gonna say okay and then once he gets home we're supposed to be cooking actually he's supposed to be cooking oh i cooked pj's dog food that's how much i've done today um, but once he gets home, he's going to be doing some cooking and we're just going to like spend some quality time together and hang out, probably like hang out and work because I at least wanted to get, I actually wanted to get all of my videos edited for today and I have four to edit, but I didn't, I got one edited and now I'm working on the second. So I at least want to get this second one done and uploaded. And then tomorrow we've got bar in the morning and church. And then at three o'clock we I have my photo shoot. So um just trying to get like as much stuff done but if i don't i'll get it done tomorrow morning before i go to my photo shoot because i'm getting all of my videos edited and uploaded to my feed this weekend like i just i can't i i can't do this like filming and uploading in real time thing you guys i don't know how people do it i mean i guess they do it because they they're on youtube full time i'm just not plus i run a business like i i just don't know how i could be successful still checking in with you guys if i don't plan ahead so um trying to get that done this video is about um my louis vuitton wish list for the year and how i'm really bummed about the price increase because it was a pretty big increase um but yeah so i'll chat about that and you guys will see that a little bit later but yeah so not too much going on just wanted to pop in and say hey and apologize because i really sucked at vlogging today <laughs> you guys know I told you Brandon's about to go get his hair cut. He's gonna be sexy. Y'all, he he did not consult with me. He did not come here. Come hither. He did not consult with me. I feel like he he likes to do this. Like he likes to just do it and then I get to be surprised. Come here. Come here. Look at this. You guys. Again, like why he and then he buzz cut his You don't like that, bro? I just be confused. You know, I'd be expecting you to walk in the house with one thing and you come with another. And the shock sometimes. Where's your waves at? What waves? You don't have waves when you cut your hair. I hate that it's dark back there. <sighs> this dude. <laughs> okay, looks like Brandon's not cooking tonight. I was about to be really proud of him. But anyway, earlier I decided to make like a mock Chipotle style meal for us for lunch this week since my raw week is done so i'm going back to the restrictions that i had before but i can't cook food again which is great so i made like fake chipotle and just followed like a few like little recipes but i'm gonna have this for dinner tonight all right you guys so here's mine i just decided to do um sweet potato bell pepper and onion mix fire roasted corn this is black beans and this is um baked chicken and a little salsa on top but we've got tons of stuff i'm gonna put some hot sauce on here i also have some plant beef sour cream that i'm gonna put here on as well so that's my dinner you guys and that is it for the night i'm getting ready to work on the rest of my video eat my dinner hang out with bae and Get ready for tomorrow's photo shoot so thank you guys so much for watching my channel and of course always supporting me i hope you enjoyed this vlog and until next time i'll see you later bye